going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS. Riggs, what the hell are you doing in FYSB? I'm going to tell you guys right now, I have some <laughs> incredible attacks to show you guys. We got five 10v10s uh, that FYSB pulled off this war. A couple of the guys reached out to me saying, Riggs, you have got to check out these attacks. So when I came over here to do the Premier League recap uh, to get grab some replays, I could not believe what I saw. So we're just going to do a special video and to show you guys FYSB picking up 5 10 v 10s. What's more impressive is there was only 10 Town Hall 10s on the map. They spun the traditional 4 10 16 breakdown for Premier. So 5 10 v 10s five different ways, five completely different army comps, and definitely we'll go ahead and jump right into it. It's I mean, this isn't going to be a war recap. I just really want to highlight the, the variety at Town Hall 10, what you can do on all different types of base layouts. So as we see right here, uh, first attack we're going to be looking at is a dragon attack. Look down at the troop bar, guys. Under the spells, we got three zaps and a quake. Uh, to go ahead and take out these two ADs up there. Uh, just going to suicide the heroes to, I mean, just get amazing value. Uh, the value that some of these guys can get with solely just their heroes, it's really, really amazing. So you see the king just setting uh, just a nice funnel for the queen, uh, just getting rid of all that trash. So she's going to head straight in. We got wall breakers down. This queen is going to pick up not only two air defenses uh but the inferno tower as well there goes the uh triple zap quake took up those two ad's that were right next to each other dropped them right between uh basically right on the wall dropping the three uh level seven zaps and a max quake to completely take out those two ad's so this base is definitely already crippled uh quite a bit uh, we have Abby bringing uh, seven dragons along to this raid as well. And a Lava Hound. I'm not sure if the Lava Hound was solely to tank these two, uh, these point defenses coming in. I don't really see that there was even that much value. Uh, I'm not sure if... Well, I'm not sure if Abby's a, a male or a female. I uh, will just say she. It sounds like a, a girl name, right? Uh, so I, I, I don't know if she thought she wasn't going to get both of the... Uh, both of the ADs with that triple zap quake, but did have a lava hound, uh, one in the camp uh, that she did go ahead and bring along. You can guys, you can clearly see this base is completely smashed. I think she might have lost one dragon, uh, maybe two at the most. Uh, definitely found a weakness in that base, exposed it, and absolutely crushed that base. Uh, really, really good job, and a very unique attack. We do not see Zap Quake. I mean, obviously at Town Hall 8, we obviously would see a lot of uh, Zap Quake attacks. And even sometimes at Town Hall 9, I still do them myself uh, if the base calls for it. Uh, but not at Town Hall 10. We do not see a lot of uh, Zap Quake attacks at Town Hall 10. So I really liked um, how unique that attack was. Okay, next up. Now we're going to the ground uh, uh, doing a Shattered uh, Hog Attack. Uh, that Xandar is going to be doing entering over here at three o'clock uh, does have two heal a rage a jump and a freeze that he's going to be bring along a couple of those spells are going to be used for the kill squad the other remaining spells will be used on the back end for the hogs uh, also uh, he's bringing along a couple valkyries uh, just to help out this push right here we do have a golem loon coming out of the cc nice poison catches both of them Bowlers coming out of the CC, uh, so just getting really, really good value uh, from this push right here. Already created a nice uh, defense path for the Hogs and took out an Inferno Tower, enemy CC, enemy Queen, all that good stuff. Hogs coming in up at the top at about 1 and flanking over here at about uh, 11 o'clock. Nice freeze on that Inferno Tower and does have one more heal spell. The kill squad is still up, still has the queen ability, guys. Uh, still has the queen ability. Nice poison uh, to slow down and kill off those ground skellies. As everybody knows, ground skellies will completely wreck hogs. Uh, so just brought uh, a poison spell to help out. 
And just a couple, yeah, a couple more defenses left. Uh, the Hogs are going to be ending on this bomb tower right here. Uh, but I mean, I, I mean, two thirds of this base is already gone. Already has cleanup wizards over here. Has three of them already cleaning up that trash. And the Hogs are just going to barely take out uh, this bomb tower. Uh, and you see right there, the last defense is actually uh, that mortar. Uh, we got wizards over on the left. Got a wizard over there on the right, and the queen ends up sniping that mortar and just trash down here. So very, very nice attack uh, by Xandar doing it with a shattered hobo, uh, doing a ground attack. Mm. Ah, excuse me. All right, we're just going to move up again. So we've covered two already. Here we got Fapa. We got Fapa. Doing it with miners, doing another ground attack. I could not believe when I was cycling through these that literally every single attack uh, is completely different. Really, really bizarre. Uh, but, it, I mean, it's wonderful. We were just waiting for Town Hall 10. When was Town Hall 10 going to get their shot? You know, it was always two stars win wars for Town Hall 10s for so long. And now we're just getting so much variety. I know I've already made a couple uh, variety videos but to me, they just they just don't get old. I mean, all these attacks are so unique and so different in their own way. Not just in this war, but all different kinds. Because Town Hall 10s come in so many different varieties. Uh, so often, your troop composition is going to change. And just wait until you guys see the next attack. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. We're doing a queen charge on this one. Uh, queen charging that exposed Inferno Tower right there. Uh, good job taking out those two gold mines that were uh, trying to protect it. Goes ahead and rages up. Uh, the queen and the healers takes out enemy queen. And here comes the CC. Also, uh, a golem loon coming out. Does have a poison to slow that down uh, to kill that loon off. Uh, King just doing a good job getting rid of all that trash and helping tank for the queen for a little bit. But this charge is going to continue. We still have uh, about 26 miners. Here they come over here on the bottom right hand side entering into this first inferno tower. He does have three heals uh, that he's going to be dropping on these miners. And as you guys can see that queen is just beating on that wall. That archer tower is trying to chip away but those healers are healing up that queen keeping her alive. All those miners clump up on that Inferno Tower. Uh, pretty much one shot it. Take it out. Uh, here we have the next heal spell down. Still one more uh, heal spell to deploy. And uh, we he also had... Um, yeah, he had 26 miners. Three heal spells. Here comes the third one. And notice he gets it right over that expo and that uh, wizard tower right on the edge of it. And he's going to have a really, really nice split from these miners uh, since the base is pretty symmetrical. Look at that nice split he got. They're going to go ahead and take out these cannons. Uh, they're going to clump up on that wizard tower. And as you guys see, the queen is still up. Uh, just going to be taking out not only trash but also these defenses uh taking out this mortar as well and still not seeing a whole bunch of minor attacks fysb bringing one uh bringing one to this war and getting a three star as well uh doing it with 26 miners and he did have a uh, seven max level five miners coming out of the clan castle okay this is the attack right here a man of mine. Wait till you guys see this hit from Philip. Yet again, I don't even know what to really call this attack. I mean, originally I wanted to call this, you know, that this was a, you know, a, a bitch attack. Bowlers and witches. But not really. Wait till you guys see what comes out of the CC later on in the raid. And he's also only bringing one golem. So already off the bat doing things a little bit differently. You know, usually we see two golems. Uh, I mean... 10 times out of 10, you know, we're seeing two golems coming out uh, when you're using a bitch attack. Notice you have Queen over here who started uh, over at about 2-ish, uh, 3 o'clock. She's actually not going to be going in with the kill squad. She's going to be walking around, taking out all these defenses and set up a nice funnel. Notice you also brought a freeze spell. Very unorthodox. Uh, you usually don't bring a freeze spell when you do a bitch attack. That's why I said I don't even know what to call this attack. I'm going to need your guys' help on this one. Jump straight in. 
did have a heal spell uh, for all those bowlers as they were coming into the base. And notice he's got, look at all these witches he has. There it is right there, guys. CC Hogs. Uh, we got Philip bringing uh, Max Hogs coming out of the CC on this attack, flanking over on the left-hand side at 9 o'clock. I could not, I'm like, what the hell is this attack? It is just so bizarre, but there's nothing left. Look at how many troops are left. Look at all the look at all the witches and the skellies. Look at the hogs are still up. Still has bowlers. Uh, queen is damn near at full health, and this base just completely evaporated. I don't even know what I just saw. All kinds of troops up. All kinds of witches. Uh, really, really bizarre attack. Let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comment section below. I do not have a name for it, uh, but very, very unique. And I had to get that guys out, uh, get that out to you guys. Even I, I missed it. I don't even know. But he also brought a skeleton spell to the raid as well. But there's the army comp right there. Uh, Screenshot it if you like. Even brought a Valkyrie. Phillips just making shit up as he goes apparently. But completely smashed that base. Uh, wow. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. All right, here's a look at the very last attack that I want to show you guys. This is the fifth and final uh, 10v10 coming from FYSB. And yet again, a different attack, guys. Going to be doing a Queen Charge Lalo taking out one of uh, the heaviest Town Hall 10s uh, that Unius Exorcist has, uh, being number seven up on the war map, charging up here at 12 o'clock. And he does have a hound. A hound's going to be coming out of the clan castle. And he has 24 loons that he's bringing uh, to the air raid for the flight portion of this raid. And does have six wall breakers as he's going to be charging in his queen into this compartment up here to go ahead and take out the enemy queen. Uh, I mean, really, really good wall break. Uh, especially considering that there weren't any other... Uh, uh, splash defenses inside that compartment so just had a really really nice clean break right there uh queen almost walked but with those wall breakers under rage ends up popping uh just the corner just the tip of that compartment uh so queen went ahead and redirected as the king took out the trash over at nine o'clock very nice rebound uh from hataki kakashi uh on that one uh so ends up getting the enemy queen taken out on this queen charge and the enemy cc as well here comes the flight portion starting at one o'clock starting with the cc hound followed by the camp hound uh just sprinkling in uh, sprinkling in anywhere from three to four loons on each of these defenses raging right over the expo and that air defense right there still has another haste and another rage to deploy uh which is going to be dropping uh, right after this Tesla farm, as these loons are going to clump up on the second and final Inferno Tower down here. And yeah, and those balloons were also in a rage, and they one shot at that expo, so really, really helped uh, those loons along uh, to take out that Inferno Tower just in time. Last defense to go down was that Tesla up at the top, and still has a loon uh, in the bag that he saved for cleanup. An amazing attack by Hitaki Kakashi. Love that name as well. Amazing, oh, uh, I mean, just an amazing war from FYSB, as you guys might have already seen in the premier, not only in the prediction videos, but in the Premier League recaps. They, even themselves admitting it as well, struggled hard uh, losing to Reddit Viper and also losing to CLC Hog Wars. Uh, but they fought back, they did not give up. Uh, and you know, turning a tragedy, turning that into a triumph, getting a four-star victory over Unius Exorcist, clearing all the Town Hall 10s on the map, winning 86 to 82. Uh, mad love for FYSB. And most, I mean, more importantly, getting five 10v10 triples this war. And even more importantly than that is each one of those was a completely 100% different attack uh Amazing stuff going on at Town Hall 10. Congrats to FYSB for bouncing back uh, from a couple really, really tough losses and, you know, continuing to push on and picking up a huge victory, especially against a really, really tough clan like Unius Exorcitus. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, 
This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.